Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm Ken. And I'm Elf George. And today we're looking at the photo booth props, a new collection from Cricut. They're very cool, and they're very quick to cut out. We decided to do a video with Melody Lane and Nanny Rose and Tabitha Carroll from Shutterscape Creations to show you how much fun you can have with the props for a photo booth. So this collection, you could do paper cutouts like we did, but you can also use them with print then cut. So you can do cute little props. Hey, wait a minute, that's mine. Just show them how you put it together. And here we have a winter wonderland of photo booth props ready to be put together. So, tape glider, some tacky tape, foam tape to pop things up, Cricut scissors, and all the elements. Some of these things I'm going to pop up a little, other things I'm just going to use the tape glider on. But these are all really simple to put together, just a few shapes each, so things should be quick. Even quicker because we're going to fast forward. So there's our finished pieces that we paper pieced. Then we did a few more things that we just did as print and cut. So now just time to put the dowels on. Since we're just using this for our video really, I'm gonna use the Terrifically Tacky Tape from Probocraft Cricut uh, just to really hold the sticks on well. If I was doing this for real photo props, I probably would have used a glue gun or something, just because, you know, people are gonna be kind of roughing around with them a little. Actually, this terrifically tacky tape is giving a really good grip. The dowel doesn't even really roll anymore. It's stuck on there pretty well. I think that would work for a photo shoot. One tip with these is you kind of want to think about an angle for the stick. If it's something like the hat, where it kind of goes off to the side, you're probably good putting it on straight. But for something like this that goes across the face, you probably want to have it so the person holding it up in front of their face angles it a little. That way the stick isn't in front of their mouth or anything when they're smiling and taking the photo. I was just thinking about placement with this one because it is kind of a larger, heavier item. I'm 
think I need more of the stick up there to support the weight of it. And we're done. So Ken did a great job of putting the pieces together, but I want to decorate mine with little stickles. There, some fun glittery sparkle to my hat. So I had to sneak back in to make mine a little bit prettier. So that was really fun and easy. You guys should take a look at Melody Lane, Nanny Rose, and Tabitha Carroll's YouTube channels to see what they did and how much fun they had doing it. We'll have links in the description. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Plus, if you're not already a subscriber, click subscribe up in the corner. That way you won't miss out on any of our other videos or our great giveaways. And if you want to see what we're doing when we're not doing crafts, check out our other channel, Between Crafts with Melody Lane. Some Christmas stuff coming up. Yep. So, until next Tuesday, or probably not sooner, it's still busy with Christmas, we'll be talking to you later. Bye! Bye! And today we're looking at the photo booth props. <laughs> we're doing. Oh no. We're. What? Say, give us the thumbs up. Oh, we will. We get to it. I'm sorry, that's a kitchen chair, <coughs> not a director's chair. If you liked our video, gives a. Gives us a thumbs up. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And leave a comment below.